Hey everyone, today we are going to be in Oklahoma City. Yes, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, obviously. Going to a place called Cafe de Lacey. I think that's how it's pronounced. If not, well, too bad. No, I'm just kidding. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, today we're going to be trying a giant McRib challenge. So now you're probably wondering, wait, what? McRib? Yes. So this place offers what they call a pork bon mi, barbecue pork bon mi sandwich. And they have this giant version, this giant variation, which is basically a McRib. I'm going to tell you all about what a McRib is you're not, if you're not familiar with it here in a bit. But that being said, we're going to have 30 minutes to complete the challenge to get the meal for free. I think it's about a $60-ish value. It is an absolutely giant roll, a full rack, yes, an absolutely full rack of deboned uh, ribs which are barbecued and then braised with the sauce on it um, I think it has pickles and onions and I'll get you the exact details but anyway let's head on over let's have some fun let's eat some food guys I love barbecue this is a giant rib sandwich and I mean a McRib guys it's so cool so let's go eat Hi everyone so here I am with the absolutely giant McRib or I guess the technical name I think is a barbecue rib bun me sandwich so absolutely massive they do have again a full rack of ribs on this we have the pickles, we have mayonnaise, we have onions. They use a high country barbecue sauce that is a Oklahoma like barbecue sauce. Um, very popular in the area. Uh, so yeah, all looks really, really good. Again, totally modeled and it really does look like a McRib. I'm not gonna lie. So when they're like describing it, I was like, is that gonna look like a McRib? But it really does. So super excited to try this out. So uh, let's get started here just momentarily. Like I said, this is definitely a big barbecue sandwich, but hey, I'm really glad to get into it. A rib sandwich is a cool thing, hard to come by, and uh, especially one that's modeled after a McRib. So the world's biggest McRib, let us get eating here just momentarily. All right, so like we said, only 20 minutes, not a lot of time, but it does look very, very, very good. I am excited um, where to start. I mean, this is, I'm gonna try to eat like a big sandwich. It is nice and hot. I'd see it steaming. Ooh, definitely nice and hot, looks good. This bread is a bit crispy, might be a little difficult. Definitely a lot of bread. That's probably gonna be the, the real difficulty of it. But let's give it a go. So how about we get started? Here, there's like a, I'll start here, I guess. Wow, this is this is this is huge. This is so dense and heavy. Yeah, and that bread. All right, let's get started. Let's hit a count of maybe uh, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get going. Mm. Wow. That mayonnaise makes that rich, that's for sure. Woo! Tasty. But rich. Mm. That rib though, woo! Very flavorful. Rip off a portion of that. All right, this is actually amazingly good. Mm. Just that rib, woo, and that sauce. Very delicious. Big bread though.
I think it's going to take longer than I thought. This thing is thick. Super meaty. And bready, but... But it is tender. Woo! Very enjoyable. That bread, I think it jabbed myself pretty good. Mm. Wow. I think we're about four and a half-ish minutes in. Yeah, I definitely cut the side of my mouth there with that bread, but very, very good. I've actually never had a McRib before, not gonna lie. Let me know if you had a McRib down below, what you th think of them. They're like a cult favorite. They have some following whenever they bring them back. Huge, dense.
Alright guys, roughly 10 minutes in. Woo! This thing is kicking my butt a little bit. Like I said, a lot, a lot denser. It might not look, but it is a lot denser and heavier than I thought. Diving into it. Super tender though, super juicy. I mean, I've, I've literally used like one small cup of liquid. It is definitely a delicious, delicious sandwich. And then it is available in a regular size, which I'd recommend trying, not the big size, but the regular size, they got that right.
Oh, come to the end. Coming on, I think coming on 16 minutes. We're coming on 15 minutes. Last bite. Okay, Woo. finished up. Not gonna lie, that was a bit harder than I expected. A lot of food. That bread was, that bread was pretty hefty, but man, good tasting rib sandwich. Again, I've never actually had a McRib, so I can't quite say how it compared, but I've smelt a McRib. As funny as that smell sounds, and this smelt or taste it like how a McRib smelled. Does that make sense? I gotta say though, super, super delicious. Ribs are super tender. I love that barbecue sauce on it. The pickles, the onions, the mayo. And this sounds funny, but pickles taste like a hamburger pickle like I would expect at McDonald's. So anyway, that was really delicious. Absolutely delicious barbecue rib bon me. Um, really liked it. I got no complaints. So again, obviously this is like an oversized, made larger version, but you have a traditional one on the menu. And I saw it, it's like, you know, like the size of your bottom your regular sandwich. So yeah, definitely would recommend trying one. This is a really cool spot, guys. Um, Cafe de la Z, the people here have been fantastic. They've been super, super friendly. So yeah, definitely recommend stopping on by, trying something like this. This is awesome. They also are known here for their uh, steamed buns. They do like patty melts. Um, they do fish and chips. They got a whole bunch of different options, salads, etc. So definitely recommend stopping on by. Try yourself a normal size item. And um, yeah, for that we do get meal fruits, pretty cool. And uh, that's about that. The only one thing maybe I'll try, admittedly, is they do have something called a taro cheesecake. So maybe we'll give that a shot. But to that, everybody, that's pretty much it. Um, downtown Oklahoma City, really cool spot. We definitely recommend. And uh, that's about that. 
I got no other words. I'm definitely full. I am not hungry. Don't eat something this big. Don't do what I do. I do this so you do not have to. But definitely try a normal size item. So, whew. With that, everyone, until next time, stay happy with hungry, happy eating. That's about it. Like I said, hopefully let me know if you ever had a McRib down below. And I don't know, this was interesting. It was, it was, it was very, very, very good. Pleasantly good. So rich, savory, a little zangy. And that, that's it, everybody. Have a lovely day. I appreciate you. That's it. Just thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Goodbye. All right, and super, super, super quick. I'm literally only having a bite. I am so full, but I do want to try this. It looks really good. They have a, uh, a taro cheesecake. So, I've never had a taro cheesecake. This smells really, what does that smell? Oh man, I smell the fruit. It smells super like creamy. This is actually Oreo. Crumbled the bottom, some fruits on it. Let's try this out. This, I mean, I like I like taro. I like cheesecake. So try a bite there with some of the Oreos. Okay. Wow. Not what I was expecting. There's some definitely some lemon in that. Wow. Mm. It's actually really, really refreshing. Like lemon. I'd almost describe this like a like a lemon cheesecake. Definitely wasn't expecting that though. No complaints. I actually feel quite a bit lighter. I feel a little bit refreshed. It was uh it's actually a good call. That like zest of that lemon kind of woke me up but whew. like I said a lot of food really really good I'm gonna take the rest to go though